Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Katarina. I'm really excited to film today's video because we are going to be talking about my favorite part of makeup, so lip products. I'm just going to call this my lip product project pan. I'm tracking the uses and progress of my entire lip product collection and I typically do have some products that I'm focusing on, so I think it is fair to call this a project pan although originally it wasn't supposed to be one. So I do this video seasonally, however I wasn't happy with the schedule that I had previously. So in the past I would have done the tracking January through March, April through June and so on, but I wanted to switch it so that the tracking starts month earlier. I decided to film this update a couple of weeks early and the next update I will again have after two and a half months, so after August, and after that it will be updates in every three months. So yeah, I'm really excited to share my progress with you and I do think this is a pretty good update. I do have three empties to share with you. I was expecting one, but not three. Then I also do have one declutter and also one new lip product entered my collection. So the way I do these videos is that I go through my lip product collection from most uses to least uses. And these are the lip products that I used more than 10 times. So my most used lip product is actually an empty. I was able to finish my Gosh Velvet Touch lip liner in the set Nougat. I cannot sharpen it anymore. I cannot do my my lip liner with it anymore but I was able to do a little swatch for you. This one I used 43 times within the past couple of months and in total this year I used it 85 times to finish it. I'm really happy to have this one gone. This is not necessarily something that I expected to, to finish but also I'm not surprised that I finished it because I knew if I really focus on it it's going to be quite easy to finish. So yeah, happy to have this one out. It was also older. My second use lip product is another empty. So this is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. This one I used 32 times within the past two and a half months and in total this year I have used it 45 times. With this one actually there is still some product left. However, it got to the point that I really had to remove the stopper if I still wanted to use it. And originally I thought that I wouldn't remove the stopper from this because it's not a favorite really. However, I still had product left in the gauche lip liner and the way I mainly used these products was together. So filling my lips completely with the gauche lip liner and then putting this one on top of it. So just because I had product left on the gauche lip liner, I decided to remove the stopper from this and keep using it until I finish the lip liner. You know, sometimes as project planners, we tend to be perfectionist and finish a product completely, like remove a stopper from a lip gloss and scrape out everything you can get out from there or finish a complete palette, even the shades you don't enjoy. And I just feel that I have gotten over of that. It's so satisfying to finish a product completely that's why I was doing it in the past, but now I try to listen to myself and if I do have this feeling that from now on it would be hate panning, I don't want to do it. And I think with this one I got to the point. And I do have the weights of this one too, however, because I removed the stopper, all of this is not finished product, but this went from 12.85 grams in the last update to 10.49 grams. From all of the empties that I do have to share with you today, this one was probably the last that I expected to finish. I'm not surprised because I used it so much, but still originally I thought this would be an empty later this year, but I'm really happy to have it out. Okay, so next we do have the lip gloss that I'm wearing today. So this one is the Fendi Beauty Gloss Bomb and this one is in the shade Fuzzy. So this one I used 19 times and honestly this is my most used lip product since I finished that NYX lip gloss and gosh lip liner. So after that this has been kind of like my everyday go-to and uh, yeah I have been able to make some nice progress. I don't have any progress lines or anything but the product goes about halfway through 
tea tube and the weight of this went from 35.13 grams to 33.70 grams. Honestly, I do think this lip gloss formula goes quicker than some others that I have panned in the past. Maybe because this one is so much thicker. And the color of this is a light shimmery pink. It is quite sheer, so it doesn't appear that pink, which is good because in general, I'm not that much of a pink lover, but this one is more of a natural pink, which I like. But these kind of colors, I do consider kind of first half of the year colors. And I can see myself still using it somewhat now in summer, but probably the closer we get to fall, the less I wear this. But then next winter and springtime is when I do want to finish this product. But yeah, in today's video, I wanted to wear this because I thought it goes with my eye look. I am testing an eyeshadow in my Prep My Panda palette project and also because this is my most used lip product out of those that I still have left. Okay, next we do have another empty and my goal was actually to finish this product. So this is the Memi Luxe Lipstick in You Wish. So this one, as you can see, is all gone and flat. I actually had to dig the swatch out of this. It was a satin finish, beautiful muted peach color. So often I feel that peaches pull a little bit too bright for me, but this one is actually muted enough. And also I do like it because it's so light. At some point I didn't really like light nudes and I still don't like nudes that are paler than my skin. But I actually have recently started enjoying lighter nudes also little bit more. And yeah, this one was just a beautiful lipstick. Maybe I would like to add a similar color to my collection, but right now I am on a makeup replacements only no buy. And I think when it comes to lipsticks, I'm not allowing myself to purchase any before my birthday next year. And that will be in the beginning of June, so we do have a year to go before that. But yeah, this lipstick I used 16 times since the last update and 33 times in total this year. But this has been something that I have been focusing on even before this year, because this was one of my oldest, if not my oldest, lip product. This one I got from the Pip Box back in 2020. In future, I think three years is going to be kind of like the mark that, well, I don't want to say I'm going to throw out the products, but when a lip product is getting close to the three year mark, that is when I really want to focus on it to get it out. The last one of these lip products I used more than 10 times is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the set Fenty Glow. I actually do have two of these, but only one I have of course used. I lost mine last summer, so I instantly repurchased because I loved it so much. And uh, yeah, now I really want to finish this older one first. But yeah, this one I used 13 times during the past two and a half months, and this is starting to be really low. The product goes there and my goal is to finish this one before the next update and that shouldn't be difficult at all. The weight of this one went from 32.5 grams to 31.24 grams. So decent progress here too. Actually, I'm surprised that I used this lip product that many times. If the fuzzy shade is something that I consider to be the first half of the year shade, so something pinky nude, this one is clearly more bronzy and this one is slightly dark for me. So I feel sometimes, especially if I don't have any tan, that it can be quite much. Next are the lip products that I used less than 10 times, but I still used them. And the first one of these is the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in the set Earth. And this one really is a peachy nude. To be completely honest, I'm not now exactly sure what I have paired this with. Probably if I have gone for a rosy or peachy, lip color and with this one there is some progress but nothing major and honestly I wouldn't expect myself to use my other lip liners that much since I was so focused on the Gosh Nougat one and after finishing that I have gone more for lip gloss looks without any lip liner. This is not something that I am 
in a hurry to finish at all. I think lip liners are something that I don't mind having them for a little bit longer because I do sharpen them constantly. Actually my lip liner collection is now kind of where I want it to be. Well you can see all of my lip liners in this picture actually. I do have this one that is a peachy nude, then I do have a red and then I do have later a brownish nude. The red I only wear with red lipstick and that is not too often nowadays so I mainly wear the nude ones. So now now that I don't have any more that nougat shade from Gosh, I'm actually excited to see how much uses and progress I get out of these lip liners. Okay, so next we are doing something new in this project. We are going to be putting a lipstick on a chopping block. So this is the Catrice Scandalous Matte Lipstick and it is in the shade Rosy Seduction. I wore this lipstick three times and the first time that I wore this was back in April and back then I didn't have any tan whatsoever and when I put it on I actually filmed a video wearing this but I oh now I remember I actually had to put the Fendi gloss bomb in Fendi glow so the bronzy one on top of this to tone it down because I felt it's too bright so uh, yeah back then I decided that I'm going to declutter it in this update but then I filmed another video midway through May, it was my perfume project pan intro and then I had gotten a little bit of tan and I actually quite liked the lipstick then. And then I think I tried it once kind of like as a natural day lipstick, don't remember what I thought about it that day. But yeah, clearly I feel kind of conflicted about it so it is going on a chopping block. My goal will be used this five times during the next two and a half months and I want to try different looks and not always go for the same look. And then hopefully by the next update I'm able to decide if I want to have this in my collection or not. Surprisingly there is some progress to be seen, although it's only three uses. Okay, so next we do have a red lip liner. This is the Gosh Velvet Touch Lip Liner in Simply Red. I used this lip liner twice and considering it's only two uses there is surprisingly much progress or maybe I didn't even do a progress line. This lip liner is really old. It's from 2019 and it starts to be pretty dry. As I said earlier, I'm not too worried about a lip liner being older because I do sharpen it constantly. Someone else might be like, girl, what do you do with a lip product five years old? Like, just throw it away. But I'm going to hold on to it right now, but I do think that I'm going to allow myself to purchase another red lip liner on Black Friday. Okay, so next we do have my Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in Pillow Talk. This one is the original one, the lightest one. And I used it twice. I don't really love this color. I just feel this is one of those that is not warm enough for me. Oftentimes when I wear it, I feel it makes me look like I'm cold and my lips start to turn blue. And honestly, this is one of those that I probably should put on a chopping block too. However, it's Charlotte Tilbury, so it's a little bit harder. It's a couple of years old already. I got it for my birthday in 2022. And uh, yeah, it's a cult classic, so it's hard for me to let go of this. And anyway, summer is not at all a season when I would enjoy something like this. So it's completely wrong season to put it into chopping block. This is one of those, the first half of the year colors for me. I cannot see myself getting too much use out of this one the rest of the year. Okay, so next we do have another product that is going on a chopping block. So this one is the Essence Hydra Matte Lipstick and this one is in the shade Peach. It, this one I just feel is a little bit too bright for me, but I do still like it. It's really warm, it's kind of fun, so I don't know. I'm going to do the same thing with this one, tan with the Catrice Rosy Seduction shade. I'm going to put it on a chopping block my goal is to use it five times with different looks and then by the next update I will decide if I want to keep it in my collection or not and if I'm going to keep it I want it to be something that I feel pretty wearing it and also not something that I have to force myself to wear. You know with this one again I'm surprised to see that much progress considering I only wore it twice so either this formula goes quicker 
or then I have swatched it. Oh, that's actually, I think, true with this one and the Catherine's one. I have swatched them multiple times since I have been thinking if I should get rid of them or not. So that's part of the reason why there's that much progress. Next, we do have my last lip liner. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the set Iconic Nude, which is a brownish beige nude. This one is not too light. In fact, sometimes I feel this might be a little bit too dark for me. I would like to find something kind of like in between of this one and the Gosh Nougat, but right now I don't want to add any new lip liner colors to my collection, so I'm going to finish this one before buying another beige nude lip liner. But yeah, uh, this one I wore once and I wasn't able to mark a nude progress line, but as I said, I'm excited to see the progress with my nude lip liners now that I don't have any that I'm specifically focusing on. Okay, so next we do have my Essence Hydrating Nude Lipstick and this one is in the set Delicate. And this one is basically a tinted lip balm. It's just named a lipstick, but it is really sheer and kind of balmy. But yeah, I do think this is a pretty lip product, but since I have been focusing on those older, either nude or other natural type of lip products like lip glosses, I have not used it that many times. But I think once I felt that this would be the right choice to my makeup look, so I wore it. And I was actually able to mark a new progress line even though it was only one use. However, something like this needs to be reapplied multiple times a day, so I'm not that surprised about that. Okay, so next we do have my red lipsticks and I have used both of these once. These are in depth really similar. I would say this depth of red is kind of like true red, but one of them leans a little bit warmer, one of them leans a little bit cooler. So the little bit warmer one is the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 lipstick in Red Hot Susan. And this is a really beautiful lipstick. I got it last year. And uh, yeah, I hope to get a little bit more wear out of this one, honestly. I would like to wear red lipstick more often, but it's just sometimes if I'm focusing on certain eyeshadows, for example, I don't necessarily want to pair a red with them so that it's not too much. In the past, I wore red lipstick every time to a special occasion, to a date, night, things like that. But now it is actually quite rare that I wear a red, but this one is my favorite red, so I love it. Hopefully I can get some more uses out of it than one during the rest of the summer. And honestly, I don't think it should be too difficult because my another red lipstick I'm going to declutter. This is the NYX matte lipstick in the set Perfect Red. This one is a little bit cooler toned. This is three years old now. I believe I bought this in June of 2021. And I have decided that with my lip products, three years is going to be the point where I really need to make a plan for the lip product so that I can finish it or decide how much longer I'm going to keep it if it's something that it's unrealistic to finish. But lip products just are not so hygienic to keep for years. And uh, anyways, I think this formula has started to go a little bit drier. And I just don't like this color as much as I do like the Charlotte Tilbury one, because I do have really warm undertone. I often feel that this one is just a little bit... It's bright and it's slightly wrong undertone, so it's so obvious. Although I don't hate it at all. I actually wore this lipstick to my wedding. Not this same one, of course. We got married in 2014, so it's going to be our 10 years anniversary next fall. Back in 2010, the red lipstick was my favorite thing. And still today, if I got married, I would wear a classic red lipstick makeup look. Now I wouldn't necessarily pick this one, but I'm not mad that it was my pick for my wedding lipstick. But I have just gotten over of it this point. It's a little bit drier, it's slightly wrong undertone, it looks kind of too bright little bit too much leaning cool for me. Plus, when I got for myself some perfume for birthday, I actually got a red, really similar to this one, liquid lipstick as a gift with purchase. I'm still kind of sentimentally attached to this lipstick. I do have good memories attached to this lipstick shade. Not only my wedding, but many other special occasions or just like the best makeup looks I did 
in my opinion, in 2010s, but it's just time to say goodbye to Thinix Matte Lipstick in Perfect Red. Okay, so let's move on. Here are my lip products of shame. So the lip products I didn't use during the past two and a half months. And then there is the backup for the Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow, but that is not swatched here. There are seven lip products in total, except the very first one. That is actually the lip product that I got as gift with purchase, and I just got it like a week ago. So it almost doesn't even count as non-use because I only owned it for such a short period of time. But yeah, this one is the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick and it is in the set Miss America. So it is basically the same color than Tinix Matte Lipstick in Perfect Red. I wasn't able to pick a color, I wasn't able to pick another product, but uh, I was still happy to get it because sometimes I have felt that I would like to, when I go for red, have something that is really transfer proof. But in general, when I buy a lip product, it's not going to be a liquid lipstick. I am on a no buy right now, and I think lipstick is just one of those things that I don't want to purchase any before my birthday next year. I think at that point, there actually might start to be some gaps to my collection. Now there's really not. So I just want to work on the ones that I have. But if I happen to get a lip product as a gift with purchase, I'm not mad about it. Okay, then the another liquid lipstick that I have is the KVD Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the set Lolita 2. This is no longer available, so this have been discontinued after there was the whole rebranding for the KVD beauty or whatever it is called nowadays. I do think this is a really beautiful color. It is this warm kind of rustic brown. This is something I want to now focus on because this is pretty old. I got it in 2021. So again, we have reached that three year mark. I don't know if I realistically can finish it. I actually might surprise myself. I feel I oftentimes now say that I don't think I'm going to finish it quite yet, but then I don't have so many products anymore and I actually go through lip products a little bit quicker what I expected. This one for me is one of those second half of the year colors and I like this because it's a little bit darker but it's still rather neutral and nothing bright. So I'm excited to get some more wear out of this one. Next we do have a couple of Catrice lipsticks and this one is the Scandalous Matte Lipstick in Nude Obsessions and honestly this is such a beautiful nude. This is kind of like my perfect nude. It is a light beige nude that doesn't pull pink, doesn't pull peach, it is just nude but it's still kind of warm. Yeah, I just love it. I almost feel that I'm saving this one right now for if I really want that perfect nude for those looks because then I know that I cannot buy a new one before my birthday next year. Don't know if that is so wise, but at the same time I have been focusing on so neutral lip products, those lip glosses the lip products I was able to finish this spring, all of those were nude. Then another Catrice lipstick is the Catrice Shine Bomb lipstick. This one is in the set Divine Femininity or Femininity. Yeah, Divine Femininity it says here. So this one is basically the same color than the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick, but this one is in kind of a sheer satin formula. So it's not so sheer that I would call it a tinted lip balm instead of a lipstick, but it is something that you can get a really kind of natural look with it. And if you want to get like a full opaque look, you either need to wear a lip liner under it or you need to build it a little bit. The Charlotte Tilbury lipstick is more expensive and it's older than this. So that is the first one I want to focus on. So yeah, hopefully I can finish it next year maybe. And after that, I will think about this one. Next, we do have my last Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This one is from the Wedding Collection. And I just love the packaging of this one. But uh, yeah, this one is in the set Nude Romance. And you know, this color has depth so much that I wouldn't call this a nude on myself anymore. This one totally for me is more like a light 
crown. It's really warm. I do like that. I think this is described something peachy on the Troll Tilbury website, but honestly, I think the shade descriptions on her website are the worst. It is pretty. I actually wore this yesterday to my son's birthday party. However, yesterday was June 16th, so it doesn't count because I started already tracking to my summer uses. I cannot see myself getting too many uses out of this one now because this is quite similar to the KVD liquid lipstick although they look really really different on the picture but when I wear this I feel this pulls a little bit darker and it's not that far away from the KVD so I want to focus on the KVD now and I think this one I might wear for a special occasion here and there. Then last we do have a couple of Essence lipsticks. So the Essence Hydra Matte Lipstick in the shade Honestly. This one is like a really neutral kind of nudish light brown. But uh, yeah, this one I didn't use. Again, this one is for me one of those second half of the year colors. And then the last lipstick is the Essence Hydrating Nude Lipstick in the shade Divine. And this one is a really light peach. This is actually one of those that pulls a little bit too bright for me, although this one is really sheer, I totally think I can pull it off, but it's just not my best color. But yeah, for sure at some point I will be able to finish this one because this is something that goes quickly and it needs to be reapplied multiple times a day. It's really wearable, it's really comfortable. Just right now I want to focus on some older things. This one I bought about a year ago. So yeah, that is everything for this update for my lip product project pan. By the next update I do want to finish the older one of my Fenty Gloss Bombs in the set Fenty Glow. Then I am going to put the Catherine's Rosy Seduction and the Essence Peach It Lipstick to a chopping block. My goal is to use each of them five times and decide if it is something I want to keep in my collection or if I should declutter it. And then I think I will try to start focusing on the KVD liquid lipstick. That is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you on my next one. Bye bye.